Hello there, I'm David Shukri and welcome back to my studio once again. I'm going to be talking to you today about the Fujifilm GF 80mm 1.7 lens. It's the newest lens in Fuji's GFX medium format system and Fuji in the UK have very kindly loaned me one of these lenses for me to put it through its paces so thank you very much to them. I've got it right here. So literally just taking it out of the box and it's lovely. It phys physically, it's a very, very beautiful piece of craftsmanship. It's very beautifully made. It's heavy, 795 grams. So it's a chunky old lens. It's a, it, it's a, it's a big fella. Anyway, let's talk about the focal length first of all. 80 millimeters is equivalent to 63 on a full frame. So you could think of this as being a kind of short, telephoto lens or a long standard lens. And the lens comes in the middle of the focal range of the two most popular lenses for the GFX system. Now lots of photographers that shoot this system have the 63mm and the 110. So they're equivalent to 50 and 85 on full frame. So it's a kind of standard and a telephoto setup. So who is this lens going to appeal to? I think it's going to appeal to people that are interested in a good walk around lens, people who shoot portraits. I think that's basically who it's aimed at. People who want to shoot in natural light or they want to shoot portraits in natural light and they want that ultra fast blurry bokeh that, that you get with these kind of lenses. So that isn't me actually. So I shoot in the studio pretty much all the time and so I'm shooting at f8, 9, 10 those kind of f-stops. But also this is going to appeal to people who shoot in a relatively small space which is what I do actually. And although the majority of the photography that I shoot is at the 63 focal length or 50 millimeter for, for DSLR people, you're going to get some way towards that telephoto look with a lens like this. And so effectively you have some of the features of the big brother, so the 110, whilst also being able to shoot without being either outside or in a very large studio. So this lens physically feels and looks and weighs like the Canon 85mm f 1.2L, which for years was one of the one of the kings of portrait photography. So you know there may be a frame of reference there. I'm going to be shooting it in the studio very shortly. You'll see me working there. I've got the 110 here. To show you as well. So I shoot with this one all the time. You can see it there. It's a it's a big lens. If I just put the 80 next to it, hopefully you can see that there is some difference in the uh, in the size and the weight. So the 80 millimeter is about 20% smaller and lighter than the 110. So that's going to be a practical consideration because I think one issue with these cameras is they are they're big and heavy and the lenses are big and heavy and that is not everybody's favorite thing to deal with. And so if you are one of those people that hates heavy combos, having this lens will uh, you know it's in no way lightweight at all. I'm not going to say that, but it does get you a bit closer to a more free moving situation than the 110 whilst getting most of the most of the character of that telephoto lens. Again in terms of the physical build I think it's worth relating it to the 63mm lens which uh, which I shoot with day to day and I really like. Um, it produces incredible images but uh, one of the issues that I have with it is it's quite noisy. Uh, the autofocus is quite noisy on it and it feels a tiny bit flimsy especially for a product which is priced in the way that it is. Now the 80mm lens is uh, in a different league in terms of the build quality. It's significantly better and I think the price difference the dollar price difference is about 800 uh, between the 63 and the 80 millimeter, which again is is a significant amount of money for for most people. But you can kind of feel the difference. You know, it's a much much better built a piece of equipment. Anyway, let's get into the studio now. Stay till the end of the video to see some completed images, and I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? 
So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Inexplicable, look and feel it in the air Can you feel me? Can you feel me? Thinking I was messed up, messed up, yeah. 